Hi friends, welcome to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Caitlin. For those of you that are not new here, my face is happy that you are seeing it again. And today we are going to be creating the look that you see on my face using the Night Flower um, eyeshadow palette eyeshadow palette and side effects gel liners from lethal cosmetics so definitely make sure to hit that thumbs up button if that's something that you're interested in seeing and also subscribe if you like eyeshadow palette reviews that's primarily what i do here um this is going to be a first impressions review i've only used the palette the one time but i do monthly rankings um like the subsequent months so for example this month you'll see me rank all of the palettes i used in the month of february um and so as if you subscribe you'll see my thoughts as i continue to use eyeshadow palettes in an ongoing basis. So anyways, that being said, let's go ahead and get on into it. Yes, my face is like five shades lighter than my skin because I have a spray tan. But anyways, I have already primed my lids with the Smashbox 24 hour eyeshadow base. So low-key a professional now and actually pulled up the lethal cosmetic site um so that i could talk about some of this stuff so first of all the actual palette itself is out of stock as of the time that i'm filming this but you can buy each of the shades individually and you can buy the magnetic palette to like put the shades in yourself so um there is that and it does appear that all of the liners are still in stock in stock okay so First things first, let's talk about the Night Flower Liner Bundle. So it comes with four liners. I did buy all four. Um, let's see how they describe them on their site. So they describe the side effects gel liners as indestructible. Um, they say through rough weather, intense physical activity, or spontaneous outbursts of emotion, this gel liner will stay where it is um, where it should until you're ready to call it a day. So these are not supposed to budge. I have used their liners before and haven't had issues with them moving out of the waterline or coming off of my eyes. So um, I think that's a, if these are the same formula as their other ones that I've tried, I think that's uh, pretty solid there. So let's see, I wanted to see how they describe the shades. So Harmony is this one and and has like holes in the top of it, but that's what it looks like. And it's periwinkle with a matte finish. Next up we have Melody, which they describe as mauve with a matte finish. That's like definitely a true mauve shade. I would feel like that's accurate, or I guess depending on the country you're from, or you may pronounce it as mauve. Okay. Then next up we have Polarity. Now I was debating ordering this one because I was a little bit worried it'd look like one of my other blue liners I have from them. Um, this one is described as deep blue with light blue reflex and a semi-metallic finish. I didn't know it even, it doesn't look metallic to me, but okay, whatever they say. Okay, so the other lethal side effects gel liner that I have is Spectre. So I kind of thought these two would be similar. Uh, Spectre is like darker, but they do have like the similar tone, I would say. Last one is Fidelity, which is described as rich purple with a matte finish. There it is. All right, I don't know which one of these I'm gonna use. You can get uh, an individual one for $15.50 um, US dollars, and or you can get the bundle for $49.60 and then you get a savings um, by purchasing all four. I'm going to let this dog out of this room because he's driving me nuts and then we'll come back and talk about the palette. The Night Flower palette was $50. Um, they describe this as an eyeshadow palette with six mattes, two classic metallics, and one duochrome, and three multi-chromes. So if I'm tilting this in the light, I'm not sure what the multi-chromes are supposed to be. Which ones are the multi-chrome? Hmm. But then in details it says six mattes, six metallics, which I mean, this one for sure, and then it's nice because you can move. So what's nice about Lethal Cosmetics is you can move the 
shades around so you just poke through these back holes and then you can rearrange the palette however you want to but they don't have the palette names on the back so i have to look at this carton okay so the shade i'm talking about i see the shift in twilight in the pan like i see the purple to the gold and then i can see where even fall has like a purple base with like blue sparkles I'm not really getting multi-chrome vibes, so I don't know that I'd make that claim, but they are do appear to be very pretty shimmers. So if you wanted the individual shades, the individual shades looks like, well, Twilight is priced at like seven US dollars. Aurora is nine. Allure is nine. I think those are supposed to be the multi-chromes. Okay, so like this shade, and this shade are supposed to be multi -crumped. I kind of see this one. It shifts from like a pink to a gold. I can see that. This one's supposed to shift purple, but I'm not getting any purple from it. Um, the shade Aurora. And then, yeah, even fall looks like it's supposed to be one of the blues. Anyways, it looks like the matte shades are like six US. The, each individual shade kind of varies in price. So they're anywhere from six to nine dollars individually. Uh, yeah, okay. So, I am just going to do one look because I also need to film with my Meet Me at Midnight palette from Lowe's Cosmetics and then I plan on ordering the Natasha Denona palette and then I'm also going to film like a clothing haul and then I also have to do my February like ranking so so anyways I have a ton of videos planned in the coming weeks um so yeah so I want to just do one look with this um i will plan on using this palette more uh off camera um or maybe i'll try to do either instagram reels or tiktoks with it um so you can you know get more inspiration if that's what you're looking for um but that being said let's go ahead and put something on my eyes so I kind of wanted this palette because it reminded me of the beauty bay book of magic palette but i felt like it had these multi chromes that like the book of magic palette was didn't have so then i was like well maybe it just pairs nicely um but now i'm looking at it there's like this deep purple down here which is i'm just gonna have to keep this up here midnight but other than that there's like not like a ton of variation in depth everything else is like the same like this shade circadian uh what is this lithophyte and dahlia all are like kind of the same level of depth if that makes sense so i'm not really sure what i want to do and then i'm also like do i want to use one of these side effects gel liners as like a cream eyeshadow base and like the answer is kind of yes maybe we'll try that out let's see how this looks um harmony i have seen some reviews where harmony was not best performing of these side effects gel liners but i still really want to try it out with like the cream gel look that i want to do i want to try out with the shade so we're gonna risk it anyway and then if it doesn't look good we'll just take it off okay this is kind of a fluffy brush but it's also kind of a flat brush this is a my alter ego number six brush it's little but whatever okay so i'm just going to put that all over my lid like just treating it like a cream shadow basically and i'm not like being super precise with it i'm just kind of getting my general shape because i am going to put shadow over it i just wanted to see how this performed as a oh that's a that's a really pretty color <laughs> okay also one thing to know about these um gel liners from uh lethal is they do try out relatively quickly so once you've opened them you kind of got to use them um so that's what i'm trying to get my use of these if any of you use the lethal side effects gel liners how do you get them to like not be as dry same with the melt ones my melt ones don't dry out as fast but they do dry out and i'm wondering like is there a way to get them to not be as dry you know what I'm saying? I mean, like if I was really in a hurry, <laughs> this could just be it and I could call it a day. I mean, obviously I'd make my lines a little bit sharper, but 
It's a really pretty color. Okay. So now what I want to do is make sure my cap is on. Close that up. And then I'm going to take the shade Wisteria on a fluffy blending brush. So this is my Sephora number 19 brush. And I'm just going to, ooh, this is way more of a pinky purple than, what was that, that we just used, Harmony. Because Harmony has more of like a blue periwinkle vibe to, the, to it, whereas this is like a very warm purple. That's all right. And I maybe should have done this like blending it as soon as I kind of put it down because they're right, these do not budge. I'm more blending that shade. Actually, that shade, once it goes over where Harmony is, it creates like a very pretty purpley color. I think I want to go in with Circadian, but how? What do I want to do with Circadian is the real question. So what I think I want to do with Circadian is use this Sonia Kashuk brush that doesn't have like a name or number or anything on it, but it's like a pointed pencil brush. And what I want to do is put Circadian on the outer corner, but I just want to keep it in like a V shape. So I'm kind of following that like outer corner shape that I did with uh, Harmony. God, I cannot remember that name to save my life. Okay, this is like a very different look for me. Like I've never done this kind of eyeshadow shape before or started with like a gel liner. So this is me trying something new, but I'm feeling it. I am. I'm just bringing that circadian shade into the middle a little bit more. And then I'm going to take that uh, Sephora brush that we used earlier and just kind of blend all of that together. So now what I really want to do is just tap one of these shimmers all over my lid. So I think we're going to try Aurora because it's supposed to have this like purple flip to it. But I, I don't know about that. But we're just going to tap that over the lid. I mean, it's a very, it's very pretty. I'm not really getting the purple flip, but it's a very pretty blue shimmer. Okay, so then what I want to do is go in with my same Sephora brush and I'm just kind of putting that along the edges a little bit to like blend the shimmer in and then also that's, oh cool, that was a, that was a mistake. Well, I already did it on this eye. Now I'm just getting this blue shimmer everywhere because I accidentally blended with this brush on the lid and now I just need to make the whole thing blue shimmery. Okay, so I kind of put it down with my finger, but I want it to adhere a little bit more. So I'm going to take, this is a Morphe M124 brush. I'm going to spray it with some Fix Plus. And then I'm going to go back in with Aurora. Let's see if that... Yeah, I'm still not really getting the purple shift. I definitely feel like it's like a... Almost like a blue-green shift. But on their picture on their website, it looks like it's supposed to have like a purpley shift to it. That is not what I'm seeing. Now, let's just try this other shade, Polarity, just to get my use out of these gel liners since I opened all of them. So I'm just going to use this angled brush. It's like an eye eyebrow brush, but it's angled. <laughs> so, um or an eye angled like eyebrow brush, eyeshadow brush, whatever. I mean, I kind of like how this looks. I am not mad at it. And I've never done a look like this. So, you know, I, I, I give the palette props. It's uh, putting me out of my comfort zone. Made me try new things, which as somebody who puts makeup on pretty much every day, that's, you know, always exciting. Especially because, like, the last couple of weeks, I felt, like, sort of in a rut with, like, what to do with my makeup. I haven't been feeling the creativity as much. Or really, like, I had time for the creativity, you know what I mean? 
All right, I think, mm -hmm. I'm trying to decide if I want to do what I'm thinking about. You know what, I'm gonna do it. So what I think would be fun would be to go over where we just put, I think it's polarity um, with the dark blue shimmery shade. What is that called? Night Long. So I'm using that same brush. I just wiped it off a little bit, but we're going in with, what is that shade? Night Long. Just tapping it over. So this is one of the shimmery shades. Cause I really don't feel Polarity is a metallic, which I think they said it was a metallic finish on their website. As I was reading the wrong color description. I'm going to clean this up, do my base makeup, and then we'll come back for the lower lash line and any little finishing touches. Okay, so actually I think I'm gonna take Fidelity and put it in my waterline, just because I'm trying to use as many of these cream shadows as I can. Um, I don't love putting gel liner in my waterline. It kind of freaks me out. Um, these are the only ones that I've actually braved doing. I've never done it with the melt ones because that scares me, but Teresa is dead swears by putting these in the waterline, so I did it and they didn't move, but it still stresses me out. So anyways, um, okay, so this is Fidelity. I have this as a Real Techniques definer brush and I need an actual mirror. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp this in my waterline. Oh yeah, that's pretty. It's a pretty color. It's not like the most cohesive look <laughs> from like top to bottom, but I just want to just, I'm just trying to use as much of these gel liners and these shades as possible just because I'm trying to get show you guys as much of the collection as I can um, especially if you're having to since the palette sold out if you're wanting to buy the eyeshadows or these um, liners and like individuals I just want to make sure I'm showing you guys as much as I can okay so that's where we're at all right so now knocking shit over okay so now I'm gonna go in with Midnight, which is the deep like purpley shade. Um, I'm gonna do that once I find a brush. This is a Sonia Kashuk like eyebrow brush. I don't think it has a name on it. Okay. Anyways, I'm just gonna run this. You guys probably can't see this cause I'm bending down. So I'll let me, I could hold the palette, but I'm just gonna hold this cause it's smaller. But anyways, I'm running that along my lower lash line, having that meet up where we put that blue shade earlier. So I've used, okay, so I have used, haven't used Dahlia or Lithophyte or Moonbeam yet as far as mattes go. Oh yeah, okay, so this, um, whatchamacallit, what was that shade? Fidelity, the gel liner. On this eye, it's transferred all over my contact lens. So I'm just blinking and I have gel liner on my eyeballs. I got it. So we did that. Okay, so then next up we're gonna go in with lithophyte. I'm gonna use this brush. This is uh, this is a Sonia Kashuk smudger brush and I'm going in like I said with lithophyte and then I'm gonna go in with Dahlia. Do I? I feel like Dahlia is gonna make this even warmer. I don't think I'm gonna use Dahlia. I'm gonna skip Dahlia. I'm gonna go back into Wisteria. Just cause I don't wanna make this even warmer. Um, so in Wisteria is this more cool toned purple. The mattes from Lethal Cosmetics blend so easily. I am, um, I just, wanted to share that all right and then inner corner the shade twilight is calling my name so we're adding twilight to the inner corner i can kind of see the multi-chromeness of twilight now that i've put it in the inner corner yeah okay i like that and then 
I think I'm gonna try Moonbeam as like a brow bone highlight, but I don't know that it'll be dark enough to actually be a brow bone highlight. This is a BH Cosmetics brush. It's like a little fluffy one. It says it's number three, but. Okay, so I mean, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna put lashes on, do my hair, come back, and I'll give you my overall thoughts. Okay, so here is the finished look. Um, I love it. So I did pull up the shade Aurora on the Lethal Cosmetics website, and it is supposed to be a multi-chrome with a metallic finish that shifts from light blue to green to pink. So I definitely get the light blue and the green. I do not get the pink, so I do feel like it's more of a duochrome than a multi-chrome, but it is such a stunning shadow on the eye that I'm not mad about it. And then it's like $9 for the individual shade, which I don't think is terrible for a non, for like a metallic duochrome versus a multi-chrome. Like, I think that's okay. So I used, let's see, so we've used Moonbeam, Twilight, Aurora, Lithophyte, Circadian, Wisteria, Night Long, and Midnight. So I haven't used Eventfall, Dahlia, or Allure. Um, or Knox. So anyway, so um, I've used two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I used eight out of 12 shades. Not bad, not bad. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm really happy with how this eyeshadow look turned out. I think it's really beautiful. That shade Aurora is just stunning on the eyes. <laughs> I'm not mad about it. Um, and so far, the um, shade Harmony as my base, I think worked out nicely. I don't know... I mean, I, I really kind of ended up covering it up, so I don't know that it actually did anything, but I'm kind of curious to try and do that as like without so many matte shades kind of adding to it and just putting a shimmer over the lid. I think that would be stunning. Or if you just wanted to use more of a fluffy brush to apply that as a cream shadow, I think you could blend it out into your crease. And I think that's a stunning shade. But anyways, you could probably do that with any of those um, gel liners. I think they're all beautiful. Um, yeah, those were kind of my overall thoughts. I think this collection is really nice. Um, if you did, like I said, their palette's out of stock right now, but the price on the palette is $50. I don't know if they'll be restocking it, but um, it looks like you can get the individual shades and the magnetic palette itself and create it yourself. So let me know your thoughts on the palette on the collection, if you bought it, if you didn't get it all that. Um, let me know if there's anything else you want to see from me related to this collection or palette, and I'll try and put that maybe into an Instagram, either Reels or a TikTok. Um, but yeah, other than that, that is everything, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!